Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope everyone is well. It's eight o'clock here in the UK, eight o'clock in the morning. Um, for those of you who are in Oz, hello, good evening. And for those of you who are in America, I think it's time you went to bed. It's very late for you. So hope everyone's okay. Um, so this morning's live, what is it that I want to cover? Well, um, I want to share with you how to attract the best clients that you can in your accounting firm. Okay, and I have myself uh, been in business now for nearly 11 years, which I cannot believe. I've been doing marketing for 28 years, um, but I've been in business for nearly 11 years. And it is very, very clear to me what I need to do to attract good clients and what I do that sometimes attracts the wrong clients. So I'm going to share with you today three tips that will enable you to attract the very best clients towards you so that you can have the accounting firm that you really, 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 really would like to have and uh, actually have the clients that you enjoy working with. Because, you know, the opposite of a really good client is what I call a vampire client. They're the clients that suck the life out of you, make you feel absolutely horrendous. They're the ones that when you get an email from them, you're like, oh my God, I've got an email from them. No, that's terrible. I don't want to hear from them. I'm not going to open it. Um, I'll worry about it tomorrow. They're the ones that you avoid all the time. So we don't want vampire clients in our business. We want those really nice, high value clients, the ones that you really enjoy working with. So three tips today on how to attract them. These aren't the only three tips on how to attract them, but these are the ones that I have found have made a huge difference in my business. And these are the ones that I have found have enabled my clients that attract 20 grand clients, 30 grand clients every single year to them, okay? So number one, you have to show up and be visible, okay? So when someone is deciding to invest in accounting services or advisory services or invest any money, they have to feel confident and they have to feel confident in the decision that they're making. So what happens is people make a head decision and a head decision is one where all the numbers add up. So investing in you means that I'll get this ROI or investing in you means that I will get this money, um, this money back. So the investing in you means I'll get this time back. Investing in you means that I will be less stressed. That is a really big head ROI. That's a logical reason why someone would invest in you. However, when someone is investing a lot of money, where they're not comparing prices. So to get someone to not compare price, they have to trust you more than they trust any other accountant out there. Okay, so whether you're an accountant, a bookkeeper, a CPA, this applies across the board. So for you to work with me, you have to trust me more than any other marketing company out there to help you overcome your problems. And it's exactly the same when people are looking at buying from you. They have to trust you more than any other accountant. Otherwise, they're going to buy on price. They're only going to do a head decision, look at the numbers and go, right, that makes sense financially or that makes sense where I'm at right now. What we need to do and what you need to do to attract those high value clients is actually make sure that you are showing up every single day and building a relationship with people before they buy from you. So 70 to 90% of the buyer's decision is made before they even pick up the phone to you. Okay, let me just reiterate that. 70 to 90% of the buyer's decision is made before they even pick up the phone to you to find out whether or not you can help them because they have made that decision themselves. And the way that they make decisions is by watching you on social media, by listening to what you've got to say, by having a look at your website, they're going to Google you and make sure that you've got reviews and they are going to want to know that you have the answer to their problems. Or even more importantly, they're going to want to know that you know what they don't know. Therefore, you're the only solution for them. OK, they need to see that you know what they don't know so that you're the only solution for them. And if you are constantly, you know, or, or inconsistently actually showing up online, and if you are not being present all the time, you are not gonna stay front of mind. They're not gonna build a relationship with you before they pick up the phone. And you're going to find that you are gonna get inquiries, you will get inquiries, you're gonna get inquiries, but it's gonna be that price inquiry because they haven't built that trust with you before they've decided to buy from you.
Okay, so that's the first tip. The second tip that I've got for you is to lead by example. So if you want someone to invest 20 or 30 grand a year to work with you, I'm going to challenge you and say, are you investing 20 or 30 grand to work with somebody else? OK, are you if you want them to spend a lot of money with you, are you of the mindset of I want you to spend money with me, but I'm not going to spend money on um, coaching or learning or advancing my knowledge on helping you? Are you saying I want money from you, but I don't spend? I don't need to. I don't need to spend. Or are you saying I'm going to invest loads of money to uh, grow my knowledge and what I do? And by investing lots of money into my own personal development, I then can ask for lots of money from other people because I'm constantly learning and sharing what it is that I'm learning. OK, so let me just reiterate that. First of all, you need to show up consistently. Secondly, you need to be investing in yourself and learning all the time because otherwise you're just stagnant. You're not growing. And if you're not a growth accountant, if your firm isn't growing, if you aren't having the success that you need to have and go, look, this is where we're at. We're growing every single month on month. We're learning these things. We're making these mistakes. You know, we're learning from these mistakes. We're making these wins. We're learning from these wins. Um, we're now able to share that with you you are not going to attract those high value clients. They need to see that you're a couple of steps ahead of them when it comes to growing your business. So if you're a, a small firm and you're not investing in learning, then the really, really hot, big, huge firms are not going to see that you bring any value to the table. They're going to go with the bigger firms. They're going to go with Deloitte because they're going to feel safer with them. OK, so what we need to do is prove that, you know, so much more than the people who work in Deloitte who aren't learning every single day, but they trust the bigger firms purely because they um, they have the reputation and they they think that giving them 30 grand is the right thing to do, but they don't get the service and the experience. However, they feel safer with that because you're not out there showing that you are the answer to them. OK, and then the third thing is you have to share business insights, not accountancy insights only. OK, so one thing that you really need to do when we're talking about learning is investing time into learning about business growth, not just making sure that you pass all your tax exams and pass all, all of the exams every single year, your CPD, all that kind of thing. OK, so what we need to be focusing on is what kind of business insights can you learn about so that you can then share those insights across social media. You can share those insights in videos if you feel that that's something that you can do. You can share those insights in articles, which you should all be doing, okay? If you're, you, you've got a choice really, you either write or you record video. They're your options, or you can do both, okay? But they're your options. So which one is it that you're going to do? You are now in uh, the day and age where you cannot hide any longer and you cannot show up on social media. The world is buying in a different way. The world is interacting with people in a different way and unfortunately the accounting profession isn't exempt from that so you need to say am I going to be a writer am I going to be a videographer am I going to be both I know that it's really freaking hard for some of you to do this especially as it's way outside of everything that you ever went into accountancy for however you need to be sharing insights around business not just around accountancy and one of the great things that happens when people do my Momentum program is they take what they've learned in the Momentum program and start to share it as their insights too, because they've learned something. So this goes back to point number two of if you're constantly learning, you're never going to run out of ideas to share with your potential clients and attract those high value clients. And one of the things that I always say to myself is if I'm not learning, I'm not earning. OK, so if I'm not learning, I'm not earning. And the thing is, is I'm a big, big believer that every single penny I invest into my education, I will 10x back just by being able to help my clients even better. You cannot know too much. And if you're at the beginning of your accounting firm journey, if you're just launching your accounting firm or if it's just an idea, if you're in the dream up stage of your accounting firm, what I would say to you is consume lots and lots of books. Really get a feel for what it is that you resonate with, what it is that you 
think that you might like to talk about and really consume that information so that you can then put it into your brain, let it sit there for a while and start to implement some of the things that you've learned. And then once you've learned it and implemented it, you can then teach it to other people. So to attract those high value clients, first of all, you have to show up. You've got to be present. Secondly, you have to make sure that you are learning constantly and sharing insights. And thirdly, you have to invest in your development as well. Okay, so they are three key tips that will enable you to attract high value clients. You have to build the no like trust factor. If people don't trust you, they're not going to throw money at you. If you want to charge 500 to 2000 pounds or $500 to $2,000 a month for your services, you have to position yourself as the font of all knowledge and you have to show up every single day sharing that knowledge and if you have not got that knowledge yet it's time to start learning and when you learn you'll find that you will earn okay if you liked this video please can you like it and share it and if you would like to find out more about how you can join our momentum program which helps you attract those high value clients. It gives you a sales funnel, step-by-step -step strategy to attract high value clients. Then please book a call with us and we can see if we are a good fit. All right, and I'll catch up with you tomorrow, eight o'clock tomorrow morning uh, with a few more tips on how to do marketing for accountants, CPAs and bookkeepers. I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.